Welcome guys to the channel and on this channel we'll be reviewing products that I see that are useful and beneficial and I'll do reviews and I'll give you guys feedback on if they work if they don't work the kinks and then all the things that may be good may be bad about it and today we have the Denser's portable single tub washer and spin dryer basically if you don't, if you don't have a washer in your apartment or in your home you can get this little mini one it will be able to handle a little bit of the big job that you want to do if you want to go to a laundromat but you know today let's get started what you have here is all the knobs for the wash spin when you're trying to spin and take all the liquid out of your clothes you have the off you have the water inlet where you could um insert your your hose that you have right here that comes with it right here and you have the spin cycle little utility where you put all your clothes when you're finished washing it to spin it so it could release all the the liquid you have in there and what you do is if you want to insert water you would take this end of the hose stick into the water inlet right here and this end right here you put it at your faucet but seeing that it doesn't come with an adapter if you want to hold it like this and have the water go in there like that you can have it that way but what I usually do is I usually pre fill a bucket of water to save the time from you actually having to keep on holding the holes right there but I've seen from reviews online that people say online that you can buy an adapter universal adapter so you can have it here and connect it so you don't have to hold this the whole time as you can see if I were to let it go it would fall down and right here on the side you have the the tool that's used to dispose of the water when you're finished with it and right here we're using a little basket to hold the water when we're done with it so that's how it's worked like that so what I'll be doing right now is taking some of my free water that I have and I'll be dumping it in here Sorry for the weird cut guys, but had to get some more water from the bucket since they didn't have enough. But as you can see, it's about a bucket and a half or two reaches up here. That's where you want it to be at. So when you put your clothes in there, it won't get too filled up. That way you can still spin. When you put too much and it's too less water, it won't have enough motion to spin. As you can see, I'll show you how it goes a little bit. You'll see right here. We're set a timer tonight. You have zero, three, six, nine. That's the minutes to do it usually. I'll do it for maybe in between nine and twelve. That's a good timer for it. So here's how it goes. That's how it would spin. Good motion for a little bit of that you have. So now I'm gonna start inserting clothes. So let me just drop washing some of my, you know, boxes or underwear as you would say. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still have a good amount of space left. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. So you get about thirteen of your men's size boxers. Put a couple more. Fourteen. 15. I'll leave it at that to give it some leisure room. And as you can see inside, it's doing its thing. It would spin, stop, and spin, stop. As you can see now, the soap is accumulating and you're getting a good wash. You just sit back and relax and wait. Here's a side motion roll of what goes on inside from the outside. As you can see, everything inside is getting its due diligence of getting its work done we're back again guys as you can see the washer cycle is done all the clothes are clean you see the water is kind of mucky and dirty so what we'll do now is let the water drain so what you do is close that you'll get the little cylinder tool as you see water starting to fall out now and you just let the water drain After that, we'll just lift it up and throw it into a sink or the toilet, anything of your choice to dispose of the water. And we'll get started for the spin cycle. 
We're back guys, as you can see I drained all the water out, all the clothes I finished washing and I made a mistake, not spin cycle yet, we're going to do the rinse cycle. So what you do is you add some more water to get all the excess dirty soap that accumulated within during the regular wash cycle. So what you should do is drain like we did before by putting the little tool on the side down to drain the water as I put it back up to prohibit it from leaking more water out when I'm adding more water from my bucket. It's already pre-loaded water, so what you do is you put it in. Like normal, but this time don't add no more soap. You can add your little rinse down or anything like that to make it smell good. I just add water to get, you know take away anything excess. Roll it up like that. And for this one, you don't have to put too much. You just do it like that. Should be good enough. And instead of the 15 minutes that I did it before, I know I said I put it for 10, but I kind of overdid it. You just put it for nine or between six and nine. You would still leave it in the wash cycle, but you would just not add any more soap, just leave it to do its thing. As you can see guys, it's now it's spinning, it's taking all the excess little water of the soapy water I would say that accumulated. Now it's doing it little spins here and there, but it gets the job done. And we'll just wait and see how it goes. Close the lid, let it do its do. As you all can see guys, the wash cycle, the rinse cycle I would say, has been done. I took all the clothes out, put most of them in there, they're all wet. Still kind of drenched as you can hear and as you can see there's still water coming out. And these I had to get them last because they were still, as you can see, drenched. Still drenched. The water that's left from the rinse cycle. So I'll put them in the bucket. And we'll take our little spin container that will extract all of the water. And what you have is there are notches down here where there are openings. And there are small little notches right here that you align them up together. Make sure they're aligned and you turn them so that way you can see there's a little space. Turn them so you can see how the grooves and there you go, there's nothing. If you want, you can take the little lever and lift it and it won't go anywhere. Before you do this, make sure you turn the cycle selector to spin and then you'll grab some of your clothes that you have so grab it don't overdo it put a little bit in there and now you see i've added some of the clothes i have there they're still wet and you put this topper on it so that way the clothes won't fly out during the spin cycle so you take it just press it down Turn it a little bit to make sure that it's, it's selected in. Close the lid. Turn it to six or whatever minutes you desire. Here's the triangle right there. You can select it. Make sure you have your hand like that. It will start spinning fast. So make sure you have it. Select it. And as you can see, it does a little rugged type of spin. But as you can see from the drainer, the water, the excess water that's still left in your clothes is taking it all out. As you can see, the water that we had before, it is very much still in there. But now you see all from the clothes is taking it out. And as you can see from the machine, it's going a little rugged, but it's getting the job done. The interior part, the interior is still in the part. On the top, you can't really see, but the timer is counting down. Welcome back, guys. Got done with the spin cycle, and what we'll be doing now is just unhooking it. So turn it to the right. As you can see, it releases. We'll just put it on top of it. Make sure it's turned, the, the selector is on off, that way nothing short circuits, and you know, just to be safe. Turn it to wash. Turn it off that way. Now you're safe. What we'll be doing now is pushing in on the topper, pulling it out, set it to the side. And as you can see now, one of the men's underwears or drawers that we have. It was wet before, as you can see from the previous clip that we had. And now I'll be turning it. As you can see, they're fairly dry. All right, ladies and gents, thank you all for staying right towards the end of the video of the how to for the dancers single washer and spin cycle and the next video we'll have is about the kinks that it has things that I, I saw and i didn't like and we'll be going through it and we'll be doing more unboxing and more of the how-tos for different products that we see that are beneficial 